Now stay tuned for the Burl Ives Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood for your listening pleasure. Burl's guest tonight, the first lady of the breakfast club, Aunt Fanny. Jimmy crack corn, then I don't care. Jimmy crack corn, then I don't care. Jimmy crack corn, then I don't care. My master's going away. Mm -hmm. He's coming up the road again. Your wayfaring stranger, Philco's friendly troubadour, Burl Ives. Where, oh, where is dear little Susie? Where, oh, where is dear little Susie? Where, oh, where is dear little Susie? Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. Come on, boys, let's go find her. Come on, boys, let's go find her. Come on, boys, let's go find her. Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your pocket. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your pocket. Picking up pawpaws, put them in your pocket. Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. Hi there, friends. A lot of kind people have come down here tonight to listen to the music of the quartet and to meet our guests. But they're going to have to pay a forfeit because I'm going to talk about myself. A friend came up to me the other day and said, uh, Burl, they've got your picture splashed all over the country. So I sneaked down to the post office to see what <laughs> reward that they were offering for me. Well, it's not much, I guess, because uh, my picture wasn't even posted. But I did find out that my handsome profile... That's my front profile. <laughs> it's to be seen in the Saturday Evening Post, Time, Life, and Colliers, and Liberty Magazines, right alongside one of the prettiest models in America. Men, I want to tell you about this model. She's the kind that'll make you want to stay home nights just to look at her. And she's one of the sweetest voiced, nicest mannered, best dressed automatic table radio phonographs of 1948. <laughs> And her telephone number is Philco 1256. So just call Philco 1256. And if a man answers, have him wrap one up and send it out. Your wife will be delighted. Uh, now, when you're studying the picture of us in your favorite magazine, why well, don't forget I'm the one on the left holding the guitar. Friends, you remember the song, Billy Boy? Well, I want to sing you now the English version of the song. It goes like this. Where have you been all the day, my boy, Willie? Where have you been all the day? Willie, won't you tell me now? I have been all the day courting of a lady gay. But she is too young to be taken from her mammy. Can she dance and can she sing, my boy Willie? Can she dance and can she sing? Willie, won't you tell me now? She can dance, she can sing, she can do most anything. But she is too young to be taken from her mother. Can she bake a cherry pie, my boy, Willie? Can she bake a cherry pie? Willie, won't you tell me now? She can bake a cherry pie Quick as a cat can wink its eye But she is too young To be taken from her mother Is she fit to be a wife, my boy, Willie? Is she fit to be a wife? Willie, won't you tell me now? She's as fit to be a wife as a fork fits to a knife. But she is too young to be taken from her mother. Do 
The other day I got an envelope in the mail that was scented with old lavender and apple ginger. It said, Dear Mr. Ives, I must see you at once. Signed, Aunt Fanny. So I wrote back and said, Come on down. Signed, Nephew Burl. Well, she's here, Aunt Fanny of Don McNeil's Breakfast Club. And if you haven't heard of her before, all I can say is, you birds haven't been getting your worms lately. Aunt Fanny. you from anything. Uh, not a thing. And no? It, no, and it's a pleasure to have you here, and I'm certainly anxious to find out uh, that uh, big, important reason why you want to see me. I have been leading a, what you might call a, a double life. Not yes. you. Yes. Oh, yes, I have, and uh, this is what's happened. Like I told you, I love to listen to you on the radio, and I know practical every song that you sing. Oh, that's Oh, fine. yes, that's knew them for years. And, sir, I like to kind of sing along with you. And as a matter of fact, what I have did is to whoop it up to the extent <laughs> that the neighbors think I'm actual on your program. <laughs> oh, and I have let them believe that. Oh. Uh, I'm ashamed to admit it, but that's what I did. And uh, now here they've uh, took to cleaning the windows and the blinds, and uh, the windows are just as bare as, uh, well, there's nothing up there at all. <laughs> and so uh, they can look in now and see that I'm at the home and uh, not on your radio program. Oh. And I feel that the least I can do is to try to make good some way. <laughs> so I would like to just uh, jump in, if I could, uh, maybe just to sing uh, so much as uh, just a little ways with you on well, any song. I would be delighted. Would you I really? Guess, well, fun. sir, now you're not only a wonderful singer, you're a dear good man. <laughs> because I'll tell you, I envy you the opportunity you have to go around and sing to folks and uh, cheer them up like you do. Well, thank you. And uh, I would like to have uh, did that myself, but, sir, I am uh, timid by nature. <laughs> and I don't like to just bust in any place, you know. <laughs> yes. And uh, so likely if I had have uh, tried years ago, I could have got myself accustomed to it, you know. I think it gets to be more or less a habit, don't yes, you? Yes, it does. Uh, like, <laughs> take it home there. I don't know now whether you just recognize these people right off the bat or not, but uh, Newt Oghammer there lived out home. <laughs> yes, and uh, Dulcie Stummy. Uh, they was married just last week. Oh. Yes. Really? Uh, they went together 40 years. Forty years. Forty years. That's and you know, actual, uh, Mr. Ives, it was uh, a beautiful thing to see. He was courting her for forty oh, years. Oh, uh, why, I'll tell you, you could set your clock by that man going to call on her of a Sunday and a Thursday. Yes, sir, he went over there regular, uh, carried her a little sack of gumdrops uh, every time he went. <laughs> yes, a thoughtful, oh, real thoughty That's he was. very nice. Yeah. I thought so. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when they got married, uh, people was surprised. And uh, they just wondered why uh, they got married, you know. Mm -hmm. At their age, I said, why, I think that's a wonderful thing. And I said, it's hard to explain things like that. It uh, could have just been uh, that uh, he just felt he was getting too old and tired to carry the gumdrops anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, uh, now, uh, how would you like to... Uh, to sing this song that you mentioned a while ago. Well, now, ago. which one uh, was you aiming to start out on? Oh, uh, do you remember the old song, uh, I'll Give to You a Paper of Pins? Oh, I know it backwards and forwards. Well, uh, do you want to talk some more or do you want to sing? No, I'll have at it right now. Well, all right. All right with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give to you a paper of pins. That's the way our love begins. If you will marry me, me, me. If you will marry me. I'll not accept your paper of pins. If that's the way our love begins, I'll not marry you, you. You, I'll not marry you. I'll give to you a silver spoon that you may feed your babes at noon. If you will marry me, 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 if you will marry me. I'll not accept your silver spoon that I may feed my babes at noon. I'll not marry you, you, you. I'll not marry you. I'll give to you a dress of red stitched all around with golden thread. If you will marry me, 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 if you will marry me. I'll not accept your dress of red stitched all around with golden thread. I'll not marry you, you, you I'll not marry you I'll give to you the key to my chest And all the money that I possess If you will marry me, me, me If you will marry me I'll accept the key to your chest And all the money that you possess Yes, yes, I will marry you Yes, I'll marry you Oh, oh, oh money is all Woman's love ain't nothing at all I'll not marry you, you, you No I'll not marry you
Well, Aunt Fanny, what kind of a uh, man do you want to marry? Well, uh, what kind of a woman do you want to marry? Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. I want a girl who treat me right. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. I want a man who will come home at night. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Well, a single man is an awful teaser. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. But a married man will fill your Philco freezer. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. I want a man who'll call me honey. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. But give me a woman with lots of money. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. I want a man who can sing a ballad. That's me. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. I want a girl who can make a good salad. That's me. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. I want a man who is big and strong. I'm big. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. But I want a girl who don't talk too long. Goodbye. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. I want a girl who can bake a pie. That's me. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. I want a man with that glint in his eye. That's me. Hey, hey lolly, lolly, low. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. Hey, lolly, lolly, lolly. Hey, lolly, lolly, low. Aunt Fanny, we have a, uh, a Philco gentleman here who has a recipe that'll fill anyone's day with crispy, crunchy goodness. You better jot it down. I just want to say thanks for all the pleasure that you've brought us and the millions of people who listen to The Breakfast Club. Friends, I'm going down the road again, but before I go, I want to leave you with this thought. For every saucer that's been seen in the sky, there's an empty cup reflected in someone's eye. If you can, pour some kindness in. It'll make your own cup seem fuller. So long. I'll be seeing you. next week at this time for Burl Ives, Phil Coe's friendly troubadour, whose weekly visit is produced and transcribed in Hollywood for your listening pleasure. And come into our store and let us demonstrate the new Phil Coe radios and radio phonographs. I'm just a girl.